Welcome to this spoken tutorial on general settings in DSpace. In this tutorial, we will learn to index the full text of item files, generate a thumbnail for the item files, enable user interface language switcher, and localize the user interface of DSpace. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 18.04, DSpace version 6.3, gedit text editor, and Firefox web browser. However, you may use any other web browser and text editor of your choice. To practice this tutorial, you should have a working internet connection. Installed DSpace 6.3 on your system. Tomcat services should be running. Some archived items in the collection. If not, then please go through the prerequisite tutorials on this website. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file before practicing. DSpace offers a search feature for searching items by keyword. By default, DSpace indexes the metadata of the items and uses it for search. Items are searchable if the keyword is available in the index, that is, the metadata. DSpace can also index the full text from item files using add-on media filters. Full text indexing makes the item searchable with any word in the item file. Media filters can extract text from the following formats. Adobe PDF, only if text-based or OC-read. A document, spreadsheet or presentation. Plain text and HTML. Additionally, the media filters generate thumbnails for the bitstreams or item files. Now, let us examine the search feature without the full text indexing of item. Earlier in this series, hpc-article.pdf file was uploaded as an item in the article collection. Now choose any keyword from that file which doesn't belong to the metadata of the article. So, let us choose Signal Processing as the keyword. Now, let us proceed to search the item using this keyword. Open a web browser. Go to the DSpace interface. Type Signal Processing as the keyword in the search bar. Click on the search icon next to the search bar. The search page opens. The search produced no results because the words signal processing was not indexed. Now, let us proceed to index the full text of the uploaded files using the media filters. I have opened the commands file in the gedit text editor on my machine. Please do so on your machine also using your preferred text editor. And I will use the same file to copy paste the commands during the demonstration. The shortcut to paste on the terminal is Shift, Control and V keys. Open the terminal by pressing Control, Alt and T keys simultaneously on the keyboard. Ensure that you have root permissions to run the commands. Here onwards, please remember to press the Enter key after typing each command. Before we begin, we will log in as user dspace. Type sudo space su space hyphen space dspace. If prompted, type the admin user password to log in. Now type the command as shown to run media filters. If prompted, type the root user password. Media filtering has begun for all the uploaded item files. It may take some time, 
depending on the number of item files. Media filtration is now complete. Observe that the media filter has created a JPEG image for each item file. These JPEG files are used as thumbnails for the item files. TXT files are also created for each item file and the contents of the TXT files are indexed for search. Next, we will proceed to search an item using the keywords signal processing. Switch back to DSpace. Type signal processing as the keywords in the search bar. Click on the search icon next to the search bar. The search page opens. Scroll down to locate the search results. The item hits table shows the items returned by the search operation. Observe that the search results show an item with the title Single Frame Image Super Resolution Through Contourlet Learning. This is an item associated with the file hpc-article.pdf. Click on the item title to open it. The metadata and the files of this item are now displayed. Observe that the item files are shown along with the thumbnails generated by the media filters. Thus, we have verified that media filters index full text and enhance search operation. Also, the media filters generate a thumbnail for the item files. Next, let us proceed to configure the language settings in DSpace. The default user interface language of DSpace is set to English. DSpace can be configured to add other languages and provide a multilingual user interface too. For this demonstration, we will keep English as the default language. Also, we will localize DSpace in Hindi as another language. Switch to the terminal. Type the command as shown to open the dspace.cfg file in the gedit text editor. You can do so in the editor of your choice as well. dspace.cfg file has dspace configurations in the form of key value pairs. Locate the section i18n-locales/language. It is used to configure the language settings of dspace. Locate the key webui.supported.locales. Webui.supported.locales are used to configure supported languages by dspace. By default, this key is disabled by commenting it. Type webui.supported.locales on the next line as shown. To support UI in English and Hindi, Set the value for webui.supported.locales as en, hi. Hi is ISO 639-1 code for Hindi. DSpace enables the language switcher with the languages listed in webui.supported.locales. Save and close the file. Messages.properties file contains the textual content of DSpace UI. DSpace UI can be localized by translating messages.properties file. A localized properties file is renamed as follows. Messages underscore within angular brackets ISO 639-1 code of language dot properties. For example, Messages underscore hi dot properties. Switch back to the terminal. Now, to localize DSpace in Hindi, let us create messages underscore hi dot properties. Type the command as shown to change the present working directory to the resources directory. Next, we have to make a copy of the messages dot properties file as messages underscore hi dot properties. To do so, type the 
command as shown. Type the next command as shown to open the messages underscore hi properties file in gedit text editor. You can use any editor of your choice as well. If prompted, type the root user password. Messages underscore hi dot properties file opens in the text editor. The file contains key value pairs. For example, browse.page-title is the key. Keys are referenced in the dspace source code and not visible in the UI. Browsing dspace is the value. Values are visible in the UI of dspace. To localize the UI content in Hindi, it is required to translate all the values in Hindi. For demonstration, we will translate only the menus in the navigation bar. Hindi translation.txt file has been provided to you in the code files link. For ease of practice, we have provided the Hindi translations for the keys for the navigation bar here. Switch back to the messages underscore hi dot properties file. Translate the values in messages underscore hi dot properties file as shown. I have translated the values for jsp.layout.navbar-default.home jsp.layout.navbar-default.browse jsp.layout.navbar-default.help jsp.layout.navbar-default.search jsp.layout.navbar-default dot sign jsp dot layout dot navbar hyphen default dot language save and close the file next let us encode messages underscore hi dot properties file to ascii encoding to do so on the terminal type the command as shown next we have to rebuild dspace with this command. If prompted, type the root user password. dspace build is successful. Let us proceed to verify all the changes in the UI. Switch to dspace and refresh the page. It may take some time to reload the page. Observe that the language option appears in the navigation bar next to the sign on to option click on the language tab a list of all the supported languages is shown select hindi from the drop down list the menus in the navigation bar get translated to hindi to obtain the entire page content in hindi translate all the values in messages underscore hi dot properties in hindi let us now revert back to English. Click on the language tab and select English from the drop down list. The menus are now seen in English once again. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt to index full text of item files, generate a thumbnail for the item files, Enable user interface language switcher and localize user interface of dspace. As an assignment, enable full text search for all the archived items in dspace. Localize dspace in any language of your choice. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. DSpace Spoken Tutorial Series is funded by the National Virtual Library of India, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This script 
and the video for this tutorial was contributed by Pankaj Patil from IIT Bombay. And this is Nancy Verkey signing off. Thanks for joining.